Kirkley Stadium is a multi-use stadium in Huddersfield in West Yorkshire, England. Since 1994, it has been the home ground of football club Huddersfield Town and rugby league side Huddersfield Giants, both of whom moved from Leeds Road. The stadium was a venue at the Rugby League World Cup in 1995, 2000 and 2013, in addition to the 1999 Rugby World Cup. It is owned by both clubs, as well as Kirkley's Council. Its naming rights have passed from constructors Alfred McAlpine to pharmaceutical company Galfarm International in 2004, then to John Smith's Brewery eight years later. During planning and construction, the stadium was referred to as the Kirkley Stadium. It was built by Alfred McAlpine, designed by Populous and was awarded the Reba Building of the Year Award for 1995. The decision to build a new stadium for Huddersfield Town and Huddersfield Giants was made in August 1992. Construction began the following year and it was completed in time for the 1994-95 season, enabling the clubs to move to their new base after 86 years at Leeds Road and 114 years at Fartown respectively. With the rugby club sharing Leeds Road from 1992 to 1994. When the stadium opened only the two side stands were ready. The south stand was opened in December 1994. Construction on the north stand began in 1996 and it was completed in 1998, bringing the overall capacity of the stadium to approximately 24,500. The estimated cost of construction was £40 million. A ski slope will be built next to the stadium. Initially, the stadium was owned by a consortium made up of Kirkley's Metropolitan Council, Huddersfield Town AFC and Huddersfield Giants in a 40 hours 40 minutes 20 seconds proportion. Following the purchase of Huddersfield Town AFC from the administrators in 2003, Ken Davey became chairman of both sports clubs, which were owned by companies he controls, Sporting Pride. The present ownership of the stadium is Kirkley's Metropolitan Council 40%, Huddersfield Town FC 40%, and Huddersfield Giants 20%. The current managing director of the stadium company is Gareth Davis who succeeded Ralph Rimmer in 2010. On December 24, 2009, Huddersfield Town announced that 40% of the shares owned by Huddersfield Sporting Pride would be transferred to the football club owned by current chairman Dean Hoyle, but the deal was delayed due to a rent dispute between Davy and Hoyle. The deal was finally completed on September 3, 2013. From 1994 until 2004 the stadium was known as the Alfred McAlpine Stadium. Alfred McAlpine had been the main construction contractor and its name was part of the payment contract for 10 years. The company elected not to renew its sponsorship which was taken up by Galfarm Healthcare, leading to the new name. Individual stands are sponsored by local businesses. On July 19, 2012, it was announced that the brewery firm, Heineken had bought the sponsorship rights for the stadium using their domestic John Smith's Brewery as the beneficiary. And as such the stadium was renamed as the John Smith's Stadium on 1 August as part of a five-year deal. In December 2016, this was extended for a further five years. A match against Swindon Town in February 2010 capacity, the North Stand, known as the Fantastic Media Stand for sponsorship reasons, is located behind the goalpost at the north end of the ground. It has two tiers and houses 16 hospitality boxes and is completely seated. The lower tier contains temporary seats that can be removed for concerts or other events. Capacity, 7000 The East Stand known as the Kilner Bank Stand or the Britannia Rescue Stand for sponsorship reasons is a large single-tier stand that runs along the side of the pitch and is completely covered seating. The stand also holds the TV gantry. Capacity, 4054 The John Smith South Stand as it is known for sponsorship reasons is an all-seated stand built into a bank and is completely covered as well as having the big screen. The stand used to be completely for away fans but it is now shared with home fans with segregation netting. From 2017-18 a new segregation system was implemented with away fans given 2,500 tickets instead of 2,000. Capacity, The West Stand is the main stand and is known as the Rebel Ward Stand for Sponsorship or Riverside Stand. It has two tiers and 26 hospitality boxes and incorporates the player changing rooms, tunnel, dugout, ticket office and club shop. It hosted its first match on August 20, 1994 when Huddersfield Town lost 1-0 to Wickham Wanderers in the 2nd Division. Only the two touchline stands had been completed, and 13,334 spectators attended. Simon Garner scored the goal for the visitors. On June 4, 1999, it hosted England under-21 in a 2000 UEFA European under-21 Championship Qualification Group 5 match against Sweden, a 3-0 win for England. 
On August 20, 2017, it held its first Premier League game, with Huddersfield's Aaron Moy scoring the only goal of a 1-0 win over Newcastle United in front of a crowd of 24,128. The record for a football match is 24,263 for a Premier League match between Huddersfield Town and Liverpool FC on October 20, 2018. The England-Ireland game at the 2013 Rugby League World Cup set the stadium's attendance record Rugby League World Cup matches were held at the stadium in 1995, 2000 and 2013. Seven Great Britain Rugby League internationals have been held at the ground, from 1998 to 2007. Since the Great Britain team was split into home nations, it has hosted four England Rugby League internationals, including a 42-0 win over Ireland in the group stage of the 2013 World Cup, in front of 24,375 spectators. It was the ground's first sellout crowd, and its record attendance. On January 29, 2019, it was announced that the John Smith Stadium would play host to a quarterfinal of the 2021 Rugby League World Cup. The results of international matches are as follows. The stadium has held semifinals of the Challenge Cup and the finals of the now-defunct Regal Trophy competition were held there in 1995 and 1996. Wigan Warriors won on both occasions. The stadium has also hosted three of Bradford Bulls World Club Challenge matches, from 2002 to 2006. The Huddersfield Giants' attendance record at the venue stands at 15,629 for a match against rivals Leeds Rhinos on February 10, 2008. Despite Huddersfield not being a strong rugby union area, the stadium has been used for four full-cap international rugby union matches. It hosted three qualifying matches for the 1999 Rugby World Cup and one match in the pool. Two of the matches saw teams pass 100 points, England beat the Netherlands 110-0 in a qualifier and New Zealand defeated Italy 101-3 in the pool. The first concerts at the stadium were on 25 and July 26, 1995 by American band REM, attended by around 80,000 people and providing a £3 million boom to local businesses. The Eagles, Brian Adams and the Beautiful South also performed there in the 1990s, followed four years later by Bon Jovi in June 2001. After three years with no performances, Blue played at the stadium on the July 31, 2004 with Girls Aloud and Darius supporting, in an event to reveal Gal Farm's new sponsorship of the venue. The following two summers, Elton John and Lulu in 2005, and Brian Adams again in 2006, performed. After a gap of 12 years, Little Mix were booked to perform in July 2018 followed by Take That in June 2019 and Green Day, Weezer and Fallout Boy in June 2020. Thanks for watching.